Deadly attack on Eurobars. Everywhere don't scatter. Governor spit fire. Tinubu receives powerful message over killing in the southwest. <laughs> you know, said the other day, Nigerian government can't talk, say, while I don't day now. Say, because these uh, killers, uh, those uh, Fulani Hessmen killers, those bandits, they don't invade Nigerian forests. They don't take over the forest. You understand? And it's a problem. Though the C talk say they don't they they try to see how they will put an end to these issues. But with what is going on now, this issue of banditry in Nigeria is no longer uh, peculiar with the North because true true be say they don't invade Nigeria. The southwest they don't in the here and now in the in the south south they don't see the here in the southeast they don't see the here we know say the, the north now we know say now be the headquarter of this old wahala but now the thing don't they go everywhere the southwestern part of the country in recent days has witnessed many deadly attacks masterminded by the bandits and some suspected fulani hessmen the attacks have resulted in the loss of many lives, while others were kidnapped by the assassins. Early this week, an unspecified number of school children were reportedly adopted by unknown gunmen in Emory, local government of Ekita State. It was gathered that the children, the, the students were being convened in their bus, their school bus. And where are the Oporo Ekiti uh, boundary where the incident happened? Similarly, it was reported that a popular man of God was murdered in cold blood by some suspected Fulani yes men in Oyo State. According to the report, the pastor identified as Shegu Ade Adebenga was reported reportedly killed by people suspected to be hessmen on his farm in uh, Ogbomoso on Monday. Meanwhile, it should be noted that this comes a few days after it was reported that some prominent traditional rulers in Ekiti State were kidnapped by the gunmen and taken to an unknown location. And uh, speaking on the recent killing and kidnapping in the region, the Oyo State a governor, Engineer Shei Makinde, told President Bola Tinubu that it's high time for the establishment of state police, describing the establishment as the best way to address the insecurity across the country. Makinde stated this when he received the Conference of Speakers of State Legislators, Southwest Chapter, led by its chairman and the Speaker of Ikiti State House of Assembly, uh, Honorable Adeoye, okay, on Tuesday. The governor insisted that the failure of the federal government to grant the request of the Southwest governors over the establishment of state police has made life unbearable for the people of the region as criminal attacks become rampant. Mackinde said, a lot of people may not know that before we launch a coup in this state, some of us governors went to the federal government and we asked to be allowed to set up the state police for our various states, but we did not get that approval during the time of President Muhammad Buhari. Meanwhile, three suspects in the murder of a pastor in Womusu, or your state, have been taken into custody. According to information obtained by the source, Evangelist Adegmenga, a preacher was slain in Ubomuso by a group of persons uh, thought to be Fulani herdsmen. According to reports, the preacher was slain near the Ubomuso Isain route in the Gagi area. According to reports, the victim was slain after he confronted herdsmen who had entered his property to graze his crops with their livestock. According to information obtained by news media, three individuals were captured by local by locals and brought right away to Oba uh, Falobi, the 
Abba Falobi of Ubomozo at his palace. They were subsequently handed over to the police for investigation. Meanwhile, the body of the disease had been deposited in a private mortuary. A lot of people have been shocked by the news. Someone said Yoruba wake up or another two traditional uh, rulers, the traditional kills killed in Anikiti. One pastor of Assemblies of God, Reverend, kidnapped in Owo Ondo State, Yoruba wake up. Another person wrote, what next after handing, handling them over to the police? They will be protected and subsequently released after killing a Yoruba a farm owner, even in Yoruba land, no persecution, no punishment. How will crime like this stop? Someone said, "We well, that is the end of the story. As a herdsman, we be set free as in the days of Buhari. Record that a lot of tragic have occurred in Nigeria, and this has made the citizen call out on the government and all security agencies to help crop insecurity, danger, uh, terrorism, and, and bandit actions in Nigeria. So guys, so now they hear the matter now. I think the best thing to do so that this matter not go over when the federal government, they should establish state police is even in the benefit. For the federal government, you not go to worry too much when all these state police will be established by then. The state governors will be the one to take care of the state police. So what do you think should be done to these Fulani headers who murdered a pastor? What do you think about, you know, the kill, the, the, even the, the, the killing of the traditional rulers? Because as you can see, Nigerians are already having that. Oh, they will leave them. Nothing is going to be done. Fulanis can never be persecuted just like during President Muhammad Buhari, and this will happen again. Nigerians, I want to see this matter. Make me hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.